This is ATG Grid News. I'm Jessica Kiko. I am Zach Haiku. Our top stories. New Belisarian ambassadors appointed to Satori and Corsica regions. Crimfeed introduces filters to enhance browsing, limit AI-generated content. Hello, and welcome to ATG Grid News. The Motown Sim in Second Life, a popular virtual homage to the iconic Motown era, has mysteriously disappeared without notice. Created during the platform's 20th anniversary, SL20B, the Sim was a cultural hub where users could enjoy legally streamed Motown music through an innovative HUD. The sudden transformation of the Sim into Welcome Hub City, with all Motown references removed and the HUD no longer functional, occurred without any official announcement or explanation. As of this recording, Linden Lab has added go-kart racing to the Welcome Hub City for visitors to enjoy. However, there are still two websites that are live that show the sim still exists. The link connecting to the destination directory when clicked shows the page can no longer be found. This unexpected change raises concerns about transparency in the management of Second Life's communities. New Bella Syrian ambassadors have been appointed effective immediately. Her Excellency Dreamy Fairlander has been named Honorary Ambassador to Satori, while Her Excellency Liberty Fairlander will serve as Honorary Ambassador to Corsica. H.E. Liberty, a well-known journalist and photographer, expressed her deep connection to Corsica, where she has lived for seven years, and her excitement to strengthen ties within its vibrant community. H.E. Dreamy, a 16-year resident of Second Life, brings extensive community involvement to her new role as Satori Ambassador. Formal appointment ceremonies, including the presentation of embassy keys, will be announced soon, followed by celebratory events. The Bella Syria diplomatic list has been updated to reflect these new appointments, and those interested in ambassadorial roles are encouraged to contact Bell or Jezebel Bailey. Brimfeed has introduced significant updates aimed at enhancing the browsing experience for its users as it celebrates its first month. The public gallery now allows users to filter out content generated by AI or renders, ensuring a more personalized and authentic Second Life experience. These filters are mandatory for vendor ads, making the platform 99% free of such content. Additionally, a new limit on the number of pictures residents can add per day has been implemented to reduce spam and improve content quality. Users can also now see who like their posts, providing more opportunities for interaction and connection within the community. The Second Life Community Exhibition, or SLCE, launched on January 30th, 2024 to connect newcomers with vibrant virtual communities, is expanding once again with the launch of Phase 3 on August 15th, 2024. This latest expansion introduces new exhibits and enlarges several from earlier phases, enhancing the visitor experience. The newly added and upgraded communities include the Virtual Worlds Education Consortium, or the VWEC, Premier Wrestling, American Cancer Society, Cycling Federation, and others. These join the thriving communities from previous phases, such as Bay City, Virtual Ability, and the Nature Collective. The SLCE continues to grow with plans for further expansions to showcase the diversity and richness of Second Life's virtual world. The Zany Zen Railway has introduced a new locomotive for August 2024, with UC now taking over as the engine hauling the ZZR passenger train. Until September 8th, 2024. The locomotive has already been spotted chuffing across the Siogio level crossing, marking the start of its service for the month. Then, Montgomery comes in just in time to see the leaves begin to change until the 7th of October. As of July 29, 2024, Tilia LLC has updated its user terms of service, reflecting several key changes. The most notable revisions include the removal of specific paragraphs in sections 9.2 and 9.3 regarding transaction refusal and suspension procedures, as well as the repositioning of a paragraph in section 9.5 on identity verification. 
Additionally, service publishers has been corrected to service providers in section 12.4, and the company name has been updated from Tilia Inc. to Tilia LLC throughout the document, including the mailing address for dispute notifications. More changes to Second Life's terms of service may be anticipated in the future. The mobile team at Second Life released the August 2024 mobile alpha build on August 9th, 2024, introducing several improvements, UI changes, and bug fixes. This update, now available for Premium and Premium Plus members, includes the ability to show group titles and wear group tags, a feature many users have welcomed. Additionally, WebRTC Voice has been enabled for mobile users, allowing voice communication in designated regions. The build also features enhanced avatar movement control, improved lighting calculations, new memory allocators for iOS and Android, and various bug fixes, including better handling of UI operations and texture loading for avatars. Users are encouraged to submit feedback through the Second Life Feedback Portal. Linden Lab Operations have officially announced that the next Linden Homes theme will be the Tiki slash Water, following a poll on the Second Life forums where it received the most votes, beating the Alpine style snow theme. The decision, revealed on August 5th, 2024, comes after delays attributed to off site training for the development team, which caused a backlog in their schedule. Work on the new team is expected to commence soon, with the lab currently determining whether it will be available under Premium or Premium Plus tiers. The team is now focused on catching up with the delayed work. This has been ATG Grid News. Enjoy the grid!